It's been two weeks since the ITU Presidential Cup. Um, reflecting on the overall, your overall performance, I know you were a bit disappointed that you could not finish, but give us an overall performance reflection. Yeah, I think there's definitely some positives and negatives to take away. Um, I was really actually pleased with my swim, especially compared to where it was in the previous two races this year. So that was something definitely that I thought, um, you know, gave me a bit of confidence going, going forward. Unfortunately, I think my cycling still needs that improvement, especially at um, competing at the elite level. It, it's good for junior racing, but just to take it another step up to be able to um, sort of be in that front pack um, as there was in the race, there was about 10 guys in the front. So um, that's definitely something I need to work on. And then, um, of course, wasn't able to finish with a bit of a, an, a foot injury, which was preventing me from running, but I've been able to sort of nurse that back to health. So. Um, looking forward to moving forward. You come out of the water, you start the bike race. Uh, obviously, in the back of your mind, you do have this injury, but do you think you would have forced it a little more had you been in that front pack? Yeah, that's all, always a possibility. Um, it was something I was talking about with my coach before that, you know, it's, it's a home race. So there was lots of support out there on um, last Sunday, which was great to see. And even for me in the chase pack, it was really encouraging. But in that front pack, it it might have been a different story um, had I got off the bike and felt good that first K, but sometimes it's better just to be safe than sorry. And um, as good as it was to have the race in Bermuda, sort of look forward to other events in the future that might be of more importance like World Championships, which still away. So getting a major injury now would be detrimental to that. How much of the, the crash uh, helped you say, you know what, I'm going to... Yeah, yeah. The crash was just something in the last 400 meters. Had it. Had it been any other race, it probably would have been something that I just get back on the bike and lose 15 seconds because that's all it really was. It wasn't a significant crash. Yeah. Um, but that on top of the injury just was sort of just an indication that it's not, not my day and time to just, uh, yeah, call it a day there. So moving on, you're heading off to Barbados uh, for another ITU Continental Cup event. Um, yeah. Hoping uh, that, uh, that all the injury is healed over. What are you hoping to accomplish this time around? Yeah, definitely. Um, really looking forward to Barbados. I've been able to get a good block of training in the last 10 days or so that I've been here. Um, been able to get back running, um, which has been good. And then in Barbados, it's going to be an interesting race because it's also the Caribbean and Central American Championships, um, elite championships. So um, really looking for a good performance there, especially amongst the Caribbean and Central American athletes that are going to be there so I can sort of... Um, get myself a ranking for the region and also get some ITU points um, for future events. Now following that, you're back to school, back to the training grind of the UK, yeah. but obviously being in the environment you're in, looking to represent, you know, you're, the young, you're one of the youngsters in the school, uh, so how much pressure do they put on you to, to perform? Um, there's not a lot, a lot of pressure put on me by the school to perform, but there's obviously an expectation that you're at the school and you're getting some of the training and facilities um, with the understanding that you're you're going to represent the school so um, th they're not races that I'll be taking lightly but um, and it's a little different from the IT racing that I'm used to but it's definitely something that I, I'll try to um, get a good result in and it, it's definitely a tough level of racing with some of the top university students in the UK. How much of the how much of this or how much of last week's Sunday did you take as uh, although it was a race training exercise. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, it's tough. There's only really two or three races maybe in a season that you can be at sort of your total peak fitness for. Um, so that would really be Pan American Championships and World Championships. So uh, the race last week, Sunday, was sort of a race that we just kept on training, training through maybe a couple easy days leading up to the race. But um, these early season races are really just a chance to sort of get back into it. Um, for me, it's a chance to get used to elite level racing compared to junior, which I haven't done much before. So, um, that, yeah, definitely, while it is a race, there's always a bit of, it's always preparation for maybe a bigger race down the road. Even preparation for getting to race on Bermudian roads ahead of the WTSs in the couple next years. 
Sunday wasn't all doom and gloom because your mom won the uh, female open of the Deep South Tri Fest. So, um, family feeling good about, about an over, our victory? Yeah, it's good to see um, a good age group event. So, good to see that she was able to able to win that. I obviously wasn't able to watch it, but um, yeah, I, I think I think she's pleased with that. Now, what's your, what's your plan for the summer? Obviously, it's going to be a busy one for you. Yeah, I uh, don't have too much of the summer laid, laid out for right now, but thinking probably going to stay in Europe and get take the opportunity to do some European Cup races while I'm over there um, and just stay in Leeds after school's finished for another month or two um, and then hopefully return to um, Canada to race the Pan American Championships in July and then we'll see about coming back to Bermuda, but it, yeah, it will be difficult with all the sort of training and racing to to find time to be able to come back, but when you, when you feel you're in the best shape of your life, what 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 is what is your weight like? What is what are you? Does that fluctuate? Because it, at times um, people want to bulk up to prepare for a race right. and then taper off. Same thing in all, all sports, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Definitely. Um, sort of managing body composition is a huge part of triathlon, um, but it, it's something that I might have had a I I was sort of I don't know. I don't really. I don't think it's important to look at weight too much. At the end of the day, the number one, the only thing that really matters is what your performance is. So, um, if you're able to perform at a certain weight better than any other weight, I guess you could say that's your race weight. But it doesn't make sense to try to get down to a weight for a race if that just means that you don't have any strength or power to be able to perform at the level that you should be performing at. You're preparing for. Take us through preparation of a big event. Right. When, when, you, when you know you've got a week to go, what is your eating habits, your sleeping habits, your training habits? What are those? Like, yeah. Take us through a week, a week before a race. So, uh, a week before the race, at that, at that time, usually all the training is, you're not going to get any fitter the week before a race. It's really just about getting your body tuned up and ready to fire on that race day. So, um, usually the week before a race is a reduction in the volume of of training but you want to focus on keeping the intensity high so you're ready to go when the starting gun sounds race morning and then another the big things are um, sleep getting enough sleep especially the week before the race not just the night before even two weeks before is when sleep because if you fa fall behind on that it's extremely difficult to catch up nutrition has to be in check but again that's something that has to be consistent throughout all your training and then I mean, leading up the nights before um, is sort of when it, yeah, it becomes, usually there's always talk of carbo loading the night before, um, and morning of sort of, I try to eat a lighter breakfast, and then, yeah, it's a lot of mental preparation as well, um, visualization and stuff like that. When you go to places like Barbados where it's hot, obviously stuff like hydration, um, and sort of keeping your electrolyte balance up, that comes into factor, so... Yeah, it's a lot of things that kind of go through your head, especially in the three or four days leading up to the race, including like bike, uh, making sure your bike and equipment is all successful. So, um, yeah, it's a def definitely a lot an athlete has to manage the week before a race. What's been the feedback from the guys that came in that actually stayed around to train? Right, yeah, they, they were all super, super surprised by the facilities up at um, the National Sports Center. I think everyone really enjoyed it. I heard a lot of people saying, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to coming back. Even some coaches were saying we'll bring a, a bigger squad back next time um, to, before the WTS race. Um, I think everyone was extremely impressed by the, the beaches and sort of being able to do that open water swimming as well as the roads for riding. Um, I know a lot of them were able to get out and tour the island um, before or after the race. So I think it was definitely definitely positive feedback from those people that raced. They loved the course, the technicality and the, um, the challenge of it. So yeah, I think Bermuda has put itself in a good position to have events here in the future. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.